Here are some publicly traded restaurants. We have the big ones like McDonald's, Starbucks, Chipotle, Mexican Grill, etc. For each restaurant, we have their most recent trading 12 month revenue in million dollars and the profit. And these two columns, these are the data points we're going to use to do some operations in Excel. First, these numbers are in million dollars. Uh, they are formatted as numbers. To see them better, let's use the mouse to select these numbers. Now I'm going to change the format of these numbers. Here the number format is within the ribbon home in Excel. So you click here. And then you can see different types of number formats. We can use either currency or accounting to show the dollar values. So let's say currency. Automatically Excel is going to keep two decimal points. We don't need the decimal points. So these two buttons here, you can increase the decimal points or decrease the decimal points. All right. Now these numbers are shown in dollar terms. Next, let's do some calculations. Since we already have the revenue and net profit numbers, we can actually recover the total costs. In Excel, we use formulas to do that. Type in equals. Once you start anything with equals, it's going to trigger Excel to identify what you type next as formulas. So cost is simply equal to revenue. You can choose the cell B4 and minus. And in this case, you don't have to use the mouse to choose the cell. You can also type it minus type in C4. As you can see, we can calculate the total profits return and it gives us the total profits in million dollar terms for McDonald's. Now we have uh, one calculation and we want this calculation to be duplicated for all the other restaurants. We can use the mouse to do it. The way to do this is to hover your mouse on the lower right corner of this cell. I see the cross goes from uh, um, blank into uh, solid. Now hold down the left mouse button and drag it down. Now release the left mouse button. It calculates all these numbers for all the different restaurants. If you choose one of them, you actually can see that it has changed the formula automatically with these cells. Now we have Shake Shack has the revenue in cell B16 uh, minus cell C16 and, and then we get the total costs. So next we're going to calculate the profit margin. So this concept we have covered in the lecture. And in this case, since we already have the profits, we don't have to uh, calculate the profits using the revenue and the costs. We can just use the profits directly divided by revenue to recover the profit margin. So equals, so in this case, it's equal to the profit divided by the revenue. So C4 divided, this is the uh, division sign, um, divided by B4. So I can type in B4 and then return. Now the profit margin is 29.9%. I want this to be displayed as percentage. So I can again go up to change the formula into percentage. And Excel actually has a shortcut here for the most commonly used formats. So you can just click here. It will give you the uh, profit margin in percentages. So it's approximately 30%. Now, again, I want to copy this all the way down. Um, let me show you another way to copy this down even faster is you hover your mouse on top of this uh, dot on the bottom right corner. Now just double click 
your mouse. Double click the, uh, the left button. And now it automatically fills all the numbers here. And now we have the profit margin calculated for each one of these restaurants. One of the things that is very useful in Excel, especially uh, for instruction purpose, is sometimes you want to see the formulas. You want to see this formula, um, but you can only see it when you select a cell and it shows up uh, in the bar. But there is a way to display these formulas. So let's do this, equals. And the uh, formula used for this is formula text, F -O -R, formula text. And this is going to display the formula we used in cell E4. So put E4 in parentheses and then return. So now you see that it displays the formula for calculating the profit margin here. Again, you can just copy this into all the other cells. We see that these profit margins are higher for some companies and lower for some other companies. We can look at these numbers one by one, but that's usually not the easiest way for people to see highs and lows. Here we're going to use a very, very useful Excel function, conditional formatting, to use colors to illustrate the size, the magnitude of these numbers. So now I'm going to select all the profit margins I've just calculated and go to conditional formatting here. Again, this is under the Home tab, uh, conditional formatting. And there are different ways to conditional format the numbers. You can highlight some cells. You can show the bottom, top, and uh, uh, the largest and the smaller numbers. You can use data bars. My favorite is the color scale, where you use different colors to show um, the magnitudes of these numbers. And here, we're going to use the first one. It's uh, green, yellow, red. It's going to use green color to show large numbers, yellow, the numbers in the middle, and then red, the smaller numbers. So once I uh, select that, now I can see that these profit margin numbers are automatically color coded. The advantage of this is, of course, we can instantly see that McDonald's and Yum Brands have the highest profit margins. And the two of the companies, Papa John's and Shake Shack, have negative profit margins, which means they are losing money. Again, as you can see, conditional formatting instantly make these uh, numbers very visual, very easy to tell. This is great for demonstration purposes. And let me just uh, uh, show a few uh, additional Excel formulas, which we're going to use a lot down the road. Uh, first is sum. So I'm going to type in equals sum parenthesis. I want to calculate the sum of these revenues for these restaurants. OK, and then it's about $101 million. And then I can copy this over to calculate the, the profit. And that calculates the sum of the profit for these restaurants. In Excel, you can also uh, name a specific cell or name an area of a bunch of cells. For example, here, let me select all the revenues. And then I want to give them, give this area a name. So the way to change it is to use the name box on the left. And then I'm going to type in revenue. So revenue is going to be the name used to refer to these sales return. How to use that name? Let me do this again. Equals sum parenthesis. And now instead of selecting those sales of revenue numbers, I can just type in revenue and automatically identifies that area and then close the parentheses and then return. Again, it calculates the revenue. Let me format this 
as dollar values. Now we can calculate the same thing using a named area. And as a final step, uh, let me show you another formula, average. So equals average. We want to calculate the average profit margin for these restaurants. And then close it up, return. And that gives us the average profit margin to be 11%. One of the interesting things you see here is these restaurants all have very different profit margin numbers. So that completes this example.